Hello. Nice Hello, to be back. Welcome to the show, would you? We're here with jo Josh. Th welcome Sorry. to the kitchen. It's been a while. He's been lost. He's found his way. So glad to be here. here. So glad it's purpose. Friday. And happy that we're finally going to be able to just get into the weekend. Isn't that right? nice? Isn't My nice? goodness, I'm tired. I've wore out. And I need to make something nice. When I cook something, it relaxes me. It well, I guess me... then, then start relaxing. I, I have, uh, okay. I, this weekend I have, I have to put in that door. And it's going to be a What bear. does that have to do with our meal today? It's going to be a bear. So it's not going to be a relaxing weekend. Really, what he's trying to do is get me to commit on live yeah, he's gonna camera. That, what are you doing this weekend? Yeah, to commit to his, I'm not. I'm not helping you. I'm not helping you. I don't need your help. I need your help like I need a whole head. Oh, my goodness. That's All not right, nice. now. So we're going to be making for you guys today. Now, That's your favorite taste dish. It. No, it's not my favorite dish, but it's a good dish. Uh, it's going to be a, a seafood pasta. Medley of sorts. Yeah, I love seafood. Um, who doesn't? I won't be able to eat it, unfortunately, because I'm on a plant-based diet. When, what can you eat, Matt? What can you eat? Sense. Plants. I can eat plants. I can eat... Well, maybe. I can eat the garnishes that will go on top of this. I can eat the pasta that's in it. I can eat... But just not, yeah, but just the not rabbit food. Right. So, first of all... Max is out here. We're going to have to boil some water to cook our little, uh, our little nests in. Where we're going to be making a, um, these angel hair nests. They're really nice little... Um, they're great for, for plating and for, for showing people that you know how to cook a little bit. But I'll show you what it looks like. The little nest. The little nest of Bird little nest. little nest of pasta. Very thin. Yeah. You cook these, that's an individual serving. Once it So for Matt, up. he'll have four or five of uh, them. Yeah. I'll have this is my bag of nests. This is an eagle's nest. Yeah. And and got, as me, I'll have a little blue jay's nest. So turn this on here. Why is it what do you mean? What it, why isn't this on? All of our elements should always be hot it's when we get started. It doesn't it take so for, so, so long. long. Uh, first thing we got to do is we're going to get our uh, seafood ready. Put it in there. We're going to start with mussels. All right, so man, we... mussels oh. are frozen, so you're cooking unless you're getting them fresh. Oh, that's the best. But if you can't and you're going to just do frozen, this is a very quick and easy dinner for you to do. Literally. So here's how it comes. They come in like a like a vacuum sealed pack. Make sure they've been vacuum sealed. And then we open this up. Not very. It's not complicated. We open this up, and we put it into the thing, the pan. That is like that. Down here. So this is actually a, um, this is a, a like a garlic butter type delicious um, sauce on here. Garlic butter kind of in in there. So this takes all the brain work out of it. Now, like this is busted open here. Well, one of them, yeah. When that happens, it's okay. Well, where's the rest of the shell? All inside there? Just don't panic about it. Just look. give me a lid for that though. We need a lid. Another lid. We need a lid for, for the heat. So you're just going to heat up mussels. Now, there's a few things to know about mussels, right? What are the few things? Oh, the ones that are closed. That's what, that's okay. That's the myth that actually got started back in like the early 70s or 60s that if the mussels closed, you can't eat it. No good. It doesn't open when you heat it, right? But it's actually a myth. Um, the, the best way to know if a, if a mussel is no good is if you smell it and it smells bad, or the texture of it is like slimy. And if not I look it. at the bag, yeah. and and or, or heat it, and the, the the clam won't close or won't won't open, then you might have it's full of mud. It could, Get rid of it. It could have mud in it. But here's what happens: so Poison. a mussel, a mussel, um, naturally wants to be open. The tent, like the the the, the muscle, it uses the muscles to, to come closed. So when you heat it, 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 it releases, generally speaking. But there's lots of reasons why it won't open, necessarily. Not because it's bad, but that kind of theory was, was put yeah, out there. One reason why it wouldn't open. One. The, it's just the way that the, the muscles are uh, constri contracted. I don't know uh, the details. Know. I don't know, know the details. All I know is you don't need to throw it every one. Like I always thought, half my bag of muscles are not opening. i got to throw them out. See, they say you waste three million pounds. I mean, three million dollars worth of muscles a year in America, and, and it saves three million lives. No, it's not. They said you can eat open muscles that are uncooked and get poisoning, food poisoning from it because you haven't cooked them long enough. So, cooked, it's I, I, all about the texture of the meat and the smell. Make sure it smells good, and you should be okay. Anytime you're eating any eating seafood, you got to make sure you're eating it right. Now, speaking of more seafood, man, what do you got here? There's also another uh, myth that comes to. Uh, well, not ready for oh. that. Not ready at all. This guy's racing through the deal. He's talking about myths. Again. Had you had this <coughs> element heated, we wouldn't have it all the, to, to do all this talking. What's your myth? 
You're supposed to only eat mussels in uh, with, with in the months that have an R in it. That sounds like a superstition more than a myth. Think about it. What months have an R in it? All of them. Literally, I think all of them. No. Start going through it. January, February, March, April, yeah. May. Okay, Ooh. so not May. So not May. June or oh. July. Or oh, yeah, June or July. Or August. Or August. All of them, you said. So summer. So don't, don't eat clams in the summer? That's the point. So maybe the water was hot or whatever. But that really just applies to the northern hemisphere. You know, like anything above the equator. Get your, your clam shipped and you can have it every month of the Get year. Get them frozen in a bag. You got nothing to worry about, right? So there you go. We got our... Uh, let's just give those a little or shake, Josh. This. Give them a little shake. Matt's favorite show there. Bro. What we're teaching you guys here is um, a very simple process. It's not going to take long. So once this heats up, Meanwhile, the water is boiling over here. We have our shrimps. Shrimp. Now, I'd like you to peel those, please. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit about the, about the shrimp. Okay. So I'm not sure if you can see it behind all oh, these yeah, pots. No, they, it's a, they move it up here like this, and they'll see Oh, they can see it. Up. Okay. All right, good. So here, you can smell the shrimp. It smells delicious. No, it doesn't smell delicious. I don't like the smell of raw seafood. Now, with these shrimp, they've already been de They've been deveined, they call it. So they have, they run like a blade, basically. They run a blade along here and it cuts out that back spine and opens up the shell. As you can see like this. Normally that's not natural, okay? So these are easy to, these are easy to peel. You just basically go like that, pinch the legs and... It's odd that you did it like that. Why would you... What, what I, you, I keep the... Um, for what possible reason? I keep the tail on there. For, for what reason? For, for color. And for, you grab it and you can eat that out of the thing. Who wants to eat that in their pasta? You don't want it, you don't want it in the pasta. Take my half of my shrimp. No, no, I'm not eating any. So here Tails you go. Tails off. There you go. Tails That's off. It. There you go. Now I can eat. I can enjoy the dish with each. I'm not worried about taking a shell in my mouth. Easiest way to do this: pinch the tail right here, right. At the base of the meat. Pinch it. You see it popped out, and Excuse then pinch that. again at the legs. Now she comes. Done. Nice. That's gonna be a nice pink, and you won't even worry about that. Pinch the tail. Pinch the legs. Now she comes. If it's been deveined, that's how you do it. If it's not deveined, you've got to cut that with a knife along the back and as pull our, that. As our brother learned the hard way there. Uh, yeah, he, he cooked the whole thing up and he ate a lot of poop. Well, well was it shrimp that he was eating? Or was it like yeah, lobster, big prawns. Or? He sent me a picture. He sent me a picture of these giant prawns that he got. He was so excited about them, yeah. right? Oh, he couldn't wait to cook them up and he cooked them up. And I said, please tell me you deveined them first. What's deveined? And yeah, what do you mean deveined? Oh, boy. That's a problem. So yeah, you just pinch it like that, and then pinch here, and, and then you're in. That's how it works. Simple. Now, Matt, now, okay, so we're gonna, that, so you're going to get that. Do you toss that right in here, or what's your plan? I, what I like to do is, um, Josh, why don't you go show them a shrimp up close? There you go. I'm going to wash my hands. Up. You're going to have to anyway. Here's your shrimp that Matt wants you to see. Look at how many legs does the shrimp have, Matt? Do you know? Oh, you count them. A lot. Two, Squeeze. four, six, eight. Squeeze, you see? And that's Do they all have the same amount of legs? <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Maybe that's what it is. So pinch the tail, pinch the legs. Your thing's ready to go. Pinch the tail, pinch the legs. See, there was a little bit of, uh, a little bit of poop left in there. Now you gotta take it out. Before you prepare this at home, Always find out if your guests have a shellfish allergy. Yeah. Allergy, because this is deadly. And not only are you introducing one, but two shellfish. Yeah. So there you go. There's your shrimp. Shrimp cook very fast, so you put them in at the end. You don't need you don't need a lot. Oh, oh well, I got that mixed up, didn't I? So we're gonna do this. Oh, our water is boiling, Josh. Let me just turn on that here, because you're not gonna want to put that pasta in. Not yet. yet. Not quite yet. No, not quite yet. But here we go. It's a miracle that I brought the boil this quick with this element. It is. How are these doing? I'll take the lid off now. Let's have a look. Nice, nice. They're opening up for you. One is open so far. It's you can smell fun. that the, the aroma, yeah, right? Nice, it's coming nice. in. What I'd like you to do is take the lid off, and now um, give us a, a, a teaspoon of butter in there. Uh, two teaspoons of butter. That I can do. That he'll happily do for you guys. That are. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Let uh, me, teaspoons uh, or rinse tablespoons? Off. You a couple of tablespoons, sorry, yeah. Tablespoon and a half. This is going to make up the sauce as well for your pasta. Okay? Not just now you want adding that, to you it. Want to put the lid back on now? Yeah, uh, for a minute. Yeah. For a minute. Melt that butter up nice. 
for a minute. Oh, okay. Every time I say that, I'm, I'm reminded of the Wiggles. You ever watch the Wiggles as a kid? Never. Wiggles? They're as called... a kid? No, not you. You're for your kids. Oh, no. The Wiggles are from Australia. They're like a, a five-guy yeah, children's team. I know, I know of them. Children's team. I haven't <laughs> lived under a rock my whole life. I know of them, but I haven't watched them. All right, let me put this over here. Don't need that I'll take a fork, though, or a spoon, actually. Do you have a... You're going to stir that, are you? Yeah. Okay, well, then maybe this here. Now, can you guys, I want you to look at this here. See how nice this looks. See that butter is starting to melt. So look, it's very simple. So we're making a, pa a very simple pasta dish. It's angel hair pasta we're going to be cooking up in a minute. It doesn't take long, so we'll throw that in at the end. Uh, mussels that are like, these are like $2.50. They're not, they're not an expensive purchase, okay? You get your mussels, unless you want to buy you bigger, get nice fresh, fresh ones. Oh, oh that's oh. even better, but. So for this, I we're going to cook neck. these up. I love little neck. And so when you've got a shell like this here, a couple of shells, like this in here, for example. This one's pretty good. Let's see, it's got a broken shell on it here. Now you're going to want to be careful of that. Uh, make sure there's no empty pieces lingering around. Here's one here. See, this shell here is broken, right? And this piece needs to come right out because that'll, yeah, that'll, well, that'll hurt somebody. But I'm saying, what, if I didn't stop you earlier, you'd have had the same problem with the shrimp. What? The tail's in there, chewing on. You're things. leaving that in there. No, I know <laughs> that. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Yeah. What are you worried about? This kind of a meal is not like a dainty little. I'm gonna just eat with a little. Get in there. You got to enjoy it. You're going to take your piece of the seafood. You're going to cut it out with your fork. You're going to eat it. Throw the shell away. Dip some bread in it. Did we bring any of our bread? I don't have any bread. I, I have gluten-free bread, but it's not the same. It isn't. It isn't. You need the crust. Okay, so how are we doing here? That's, that's, that's looking pretty good, that's right? That's good, yeah. Still, that's going to cook a, a while yet. So, you know, these are, these are getting very close. They're open. They've already been basically cooked. They may have been cooked previously and then frozen, for all we know. So we I just didn't look make, at the box. I just want to make sure there's no broken shells. Should we look at the box? Broken shells there. Josh is very paranoid about, about seafood. No, I just want things cooked. Always has been. Now, here's what we're going to do next. So, we just took this out of the bag and heated it up. You can add different seasonings if you want to it, but generally there's like a garlic butter seasoning or a, parma, like a, a, a tomato base of some kind with them. You can throw that in there. To add more meat to that, because really there's not a lot of meat in that. There's only like, you know, maybe a half a cup out of all of what you see there. In order to give more to it, we're going to add some shrimp. Right. And just go ahead and toss them in there wherever you want. And those, those shrimp are going to, uh, they're going to turn red as they heat up. And then you'll know they're ready. The, um, so just FYI, if you're cooking this at home and you, you get the, box, the same box, it's already pre-cooked. Yeah. And so you're, you're just heating heat, it up. You're heating them up. Heat and serve. Heat and serve with this. Okay. All right, but the shrimp, obviously, are not. But that doesn't take long to cook. So, while that's happening, while that's cooking up in there, we're going to add a little bit of... You can use uh, a little bit of white wine if you want. That's generally what I like to use, yeah. But we don't have any white wine, so we're going to use this Marcella wine, which is... I imagine. Yeah. Delicious smelling. Well, go, ahead, go ahead and open that up. We're not going to put a lot. We're just going to put enough to... Use a little bit of... But it's peace. It shall be. And now that's, again, the base... Making up the base of your thoughts. It's not like a thick sauce. It's going right. to be. Now everybody knows Matt loves his garlic. I do. So I do. You know he's going to put about four or five tablespoons of garlic. No, in. you don't put a lot. But this is like a minced garlic. This is great when you're just trying to cook fast and you don't want to chop up garlic and make it a big, big ordeal. Fresh garlic, of course, is always the you know the best. But this has a it does have a very nice smell. It's been very it's been nice. um, marinating. Yeah. Know? You can get this marinated and other stuff in olive oil and stuff like that too. Here, we'll go ahead and open that up, would you? It'll stir this around then, and then you can start stirring it around a bit. You don't want to overpower it, so just put the right amount of garlic, a teaspoon or whatever. All of that fell into one clam. One shell. That's all good. <laughs> one guy's gonna have a mouthful of that. That's it. Now, another one here. You can start to see how the shrimp is starting to turn. See that? Starting to turn pink. That side is not so much. This side is. You don't want to overcook them. They're going to get too small. So in a few minutes, this is going to be ready. And then we're going to do something that's going to amaze you. Absolutely amaze you. Now, let's think about our pasta. So, our water is boiling. Where is our pasta? Our pasta is here. Our water is boiling. 
It's a nice rolling boil, as you can see. Rolling boil. You want to put these in. What does it say to do? I think three minutes, right? Three, put, four minutes, yeah. So we put this in one. You got to stir it, though. For how, how many do you want? You got to stir it for a couple seconds. Put in that. Uh, put in two. We'll put in three. Yeah. Okay. Now, you don't want to break them up too much. You know what they remind me of? Yeah, you're not stirring it up. I just don't want you to take it apart. Because it reminds me of shredded wheat. Remember I know. That? Yeah, shredded wheat. You put hot milk on it. Hot water and, and I, I can't have anything more. But so here's how dad we dad you see shredded wheat. You know the shredded wheat you get in a box. He, he would put that in a in a bowl, two yeah. of them, and, and then brown sugar and milk. No, he would he would coat it with hot water. He'd soak it with hot water from the tap, boiling hot to the touch. Yeah. Then he'd dump it out. That would soften everything, and then he would throw milk and brown sugar and stuff on it. On top of that, that's how he did it. Uh, and it's delicious. The man knew what he was talking about. I don't think so. I think Bring that back to a boil. It says here. Uh, boil three quarts of water, add salt to taste, which we didn't need to because I've already got a lot of salt in my diet. Um, add the contents of this package, flavor. boiling water, stir gently until the water boils again. You got to keep stirring until the water boils again. And then cook for two to four minutes. Okay, then our pasta will be ready. Here's what I want to do now. How's our, how's our shrimp? He's always worried. Shrimp's not cooked. Yeah, look at that. It's not cooked yet. See this here. That's a cooked shrimp. You don't want it tiny. Look, look, watch. Let me let me show you that it's cooked. Okay, look. Here's our here's our board. All the way through. Pink. Pink and tough. It's too tough. So here's what we're gonna do for this. We're gonna take this out of here. Give me this. Screw it in. Give me this here for a second. I'm gonna make a lot of dishes for you. So there's our shrimp is ready. Just the side. Let's dump that back in the in the pan. Dump it in there now. There's our our, our shrimp. Put the lid on that to keep it nice and warm. That's it. And continues to cook the shrimp. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna bring this up. We're gonna get this sizzling a little bit. And we're gonna put some stuff in there. We're all over the place. This. Did you stir this here? One job. I'm supposed to stir it. He's using a fork in our nice pots. And I don't touch the bottom. I'm not screaming. Okay, so three to four minutes is all it's going to need, it says, right? Yeah, it's angel hair pasta, so it's very thin. You're mixing, you're, you're, you're you're mixing the spoons and stuff. Yeah, but you're not, you gotta, you gotta break them up a bit. No, you don't. Uh, yeah, you do. You want nests. No, well, the nests have to cook, friend. Okay, so they gotta be broken up or else or else they won't. Now keep you have them. a bowl of pasta. Just trust me. Just trust me. Is, have wasted, you ever cooked these? You've wasted money buying nests at this point. Have you have you ever cooked have you ever cooked these before? No. Okay. Well then just trust your old brother Matt, okay? I'm gonna show you how this is done. Then just do it like that. Let's bring that back to the bowl. You don't want to do it too much because then it gets really soggy. They're not like that. But we got that going here, Josh. Let me put a little something in there. What you, what, what's your plan? Walk talk us through it. Walk us through this. I'm, just, I'm putting a... Oh. Yeah, no, walk us through it. Why does everything we have in our fridge is always no good? Don't it's trust that. I need it. Just add cheese. How's this stuff? <laughs> no, don't trust it. Everything we have is turned to a curdled... Dairy. What is this? Someone's... It's no good. That, that's from our first show we've ever done. November 28th. We're Last good. year. No. Look, it's still good. Cream, smell it. I have a nose for these things. You don't need a nose. It's been good. It's not pouring out of the container. <laughs> Look at the chunks. <laughs> I almost fainted. <laughs> I nearly fainted. No. Yeah, the chunks that came out of my guess I've never known a guy. Now i got to thicken it in other ways. So we're going to put some Parmesan cheese in there. Okay. Let's put some of that in here. Don't be shy. Stir that around. You, want, you don't want it to be too thick anyway. You, know no, I mean? you want to make a bit of a bit of a cream here, okay? So this guy won't put any, you know, he's worried about his milk being a little... Uh... <laughs> that came out like, you ever see Naked Gun in the movie? He poured out his cream in his... There's chunks of it. Okay, this is ready. Let me just see this here. Oh, I'll get another one. Never known a guy so uh, worried. 
Let me tell you something, Josh. We'll never have any kind of issues with poisoning. I'll never. You go to my house, you'll never be poisoned. That's a promise. What are you doing? Why are you breaking that up Just so much? Trust me. Just trust me, friend. Now, everything is basically ready to go. <clears throat> basically ready. This didn't take you long to make, did it? No, it's a nice quick meal. Put these in the sink here, get them out of your way. So here's your plate. Go up here, here's your plate. Now, this has got to be drained. We have a little drainer for this, don't we? Uh, we used it on the... Uh... Oh, we used it on that. You okay. can use this here, though. No, no, I'll just use, uh, I'll just use this. Where's my lid? I have a lid. I'll just take it out of here. I'll drain it like this. Go fashion way. Okay. Just take your time. There's no rush. So it's the same thing. That's that. That again, you, 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 I don't think you did that right. I did. This is how you do it. Trust me. That looks exactly the same as a pasta rig. A pasta thing. Yes, I but they're, 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 they don't stay together like that. That's not the that's not the point of them. Just turn this off here. Put this back there. You don't need any more. Right. Who cooks in the kitchen, folks? That's the whole name of the show. Yeah. Now this... This I'd love to thicken up with a little bit of... Uh, a little bit cream. of cream, but you don't need to have it. You don't need to have that every time. The flavor of give this... Me my, give me a spoon. So Which spoon? <laughs> That's what I was just about to get. I'm going to taste this for you. Hold on. I don't, I don't want that spoon. Do everything myself around here. All right. This we're just going to put a little. Put that on there, and it's going to spill over to the sides. But that's great. That's what you want. Let me get your seafood medley here, Matt. All right here. Turn this off. All right. Now in your medley. You can carefully place shells. Put the weight. Right. Carefully place some shells in here so that uh, you're going to have a nice, delicious looking meal. Four will probably do. Did I put that closed one in, there, Josh? Can I? Yeah, I'd like to <laughs> like, use that. I wasn't, that's like, like, I wasn't like, handing it to you to grab with your dirty fingers. All right. So here, let me just do this here. That's it. Place just the right placement of things here and there. Boy, does that ever! Can you turn your phone off? It's not me. It's yours. Is it? That is mine. All right. Kind of the world we live in, we're never out of touch. All right, there you go. There's your now. Let me get a little greenery. We'll chop up a little that, parsley. Why is that tomato there? It's, it's for the, for the I don't show. know. It was for the show. Somebody thought it would be look nice on the plate. It was more. Nice yeah. Let me just. I'll do it. I've done nothing. Whole show, I just sat there. Look at it. He's gonna cut. His, he's gonna cut his fingers. That's a Rhineland cutlery knife, one of the sharpest knives in the world. In my world. In Matt's world. Look at that. He almost cut himself there. No, I didn't. I never do. Just a little sprinkle of. Look at that. That's Parmesan. finally. That's perfectly chopped parsley. Oh, you finally did something nice for us here. Now, what we're gonna also put on here? A little cracked pepper. And then we're gonna put a little salt. Now it, it would be nice if we had a little bit, a couple of toast points. You know, some yeah, garlic. that's that would be a nice finishing touch. But of course, you, you now what would what you, you want with that? Because you dip that in the sauce, and oh, it's yeah. beautiful. And you pour a nice little glass of uh, of uh, white wine with that. Yeah, sure, that's what I would pair. Out, that's right? exactly what I would pair with it. Yeah. Now let me just put a little um, smoked paprika, but I don't think I brought any. So um, put a little of this just for a little splash, a little seasoning, splash of color. A little something extra. Now, there's your meal. Yeah. Now, you made something there in about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, that we kind of dragged it on a bit to kind of talk to you guys a bit longer. But look, look how nice. That's a very pretty dish. Yeah. And, it looks wonderful. And that'll feed, that'll feed a family of four. Oh, yeah, sure it will. Easily. And it's a fairly inexpensive meal. I mean, you probably I probably used uh, bucks. not even half a bag of shrimp. It cost me about six, seven bucks for half a bag of shrimp. Uh, well, well, no, it's about eight bucks a pound for shrimp, right? So four bucks for the shrimp. This was the two two fifty for the mussels, and then a bag a thing of pasta. And look at it, you know, nice dish. 
There you go. Well done. So look, the weekend's here, guys. Get out there. Uh, have yourself a good time. A great weekend. Stay safe. Make uh, some food. Yeah. I mean, cook for the family. I I plan to. I, I, I want to oh. do a nice family dinner. Sure. You've already put enough cheese. Oh, I'm just going to put a little, just a sprinkle of fresh Parmesan on there just to give it a little. Look at that now. Isn't that? Tell me that didn't just. I'm, I'm walking off the set. He's done, folks. He's done. It's Thanks for joining cheese. us here today. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here on uh, Two Cooks in the Kitchen with Matt and Josh and What Tools Inside. And we will see you guys again next week. A full week of activity week. for you next week. So come and join us and let's have some fun at uh, on the set. On what we'll see you soon, guys. Take it easy. Let's clean this up. Yeah,